A Canadian student athlete from Quebec says he was turned back at the U.S. border yesterday. Yassin Aber was on his way to a track competition in Boston. The 19-year-old was interrogated for several hours at a border crossing south of Sherbrooke, Quebec, and agents temporarily took his cell phone. Aber was born in Canada. His parents were born in Morocco. And Yassin Aber joins us now from Sherbrooke, Quebec. So Yassin, what happened at the U.S. border when you were denied entry? Uh, hi, I, first thing I would just like to thank you to, for giving me this uh, opportunity mm -hmm. to share my story. And uh, yeah, so yesterday we were supposed to go, like you said, to a track meet in Boston. We left uh, at around uh, 12.45 from, uh, from school with uh, a coach and uh, five other guys in the, in the van. We arrived at the border at around uh, 1.30. And uh, when we arrived there, uh, the customs agents uh, took our passports uh, and they told me to, me and all the other uh, passengers to get out of the vehicle. Uh, we put the van in a little garage uh, there. Once we got inside the, the building, they uh, asked for my phone, asked for my password. And uh, after that, they uh, asked me questions uh, twice. So they took me in, in their office, let me go, took my fingerprints, took a, a picture. Uh, took me in uh, once again for some other questions and after a five hour five hour wait uh, they informed me that I could not uh, pass the border and therefore could not compete at my uh, uh, track meet so what kind of questions were you asked well the the first time it was uh, very general questions both on me and on my family so they asked me my name my phone number where do I live what do I do for a living, what do I study, what uh, track events I do. They ask uh, questions about where did I travel uh, for the last 10 years, uh, how much time I spent to each place where I traveled. They also ask the detailed questions about my parents, their name, their date of birth, where did they come from, when they came to Canada, uh, questions about my uh, little brother and uh, things like that. And, and, and do, do you think there was any point when you were answering the questions that they may not have liked your answer? Was there a place that you went that made them react in any kind of way? Uh, I really cannot say that's for the first interview. For the second interview, when they took me in, uh, uh, once again, they asked me very specific questions like, uh, do I go to the mosque or not? So I told them that, yes, I did, which is the case. They told me what mosque I was going to, what uh, they asked me specific questions about certain people that I may or may not know. They asked me uh, questions about uh, my friends, who are my friends, what are their names, what do they do. Uh, they asked me questions about certain people and how uh, I may come to know them. So uh, that's the type of questions. The second second interview was really more precise and was really more uh, aimed at certain aspects if I could say like what? what 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 were some of the what were some of the more precise questions well they asked me what mosque I would go to mm -hmm. uh, if I frequented these mosques uh, frequently how often did I go there they also asked me like I said questions about certain people that certain people that I may or may not know and how I know them and so, uh, were they taking notes as they were? Yeah, uh, yeah. There, there was two agents, and they were taking notes during the the whole interview. Uh, did you find the questions unusual? Uh, for sure, uh, for sure. Knowing that I was ne never even asked any questions in my previous trips to the United States when I went there for, be it vacation or training camps or uh, races. So yeah, I did found it unusual, but uh, they were not. Uh, uh, harmful questions I would say but yeah it did seem unusual so how did the experience make you feel well it made me very tense very stressed obviously I was also hoping that my team uh, could still go even if I could not go so it was very stressful on me but also for my my whole team that was there with me for the coach uh, knowing that we could not use our phones and contact the other guys that were already there in Boston. They had no place to go. They didn't know where the hotel was, how they could get in. So it was a very long and very stressful moment for sure.
Now, did the rest of your team, did they all get in? Yeah, yeah, I'm very happy that, I, that they got to get in. They, they arrived safely at Boston and they'll be competing today and uh, tomorrow. Are, are, is any other member of your team Muslim? Uh, yeah, he is, but he was not from the, the delegation that was going there in Boston. So, uh, yes, there are other, there is another Muslim. But uh, no, one, no one that would try to cross the border other than you is Muslim. No, not at the time of uh, the incident yesterday, no. And so do you feel as though you were, you were denied entry because of your religion? Uh, no, and uh, that was a specific question I asked to the agents, and they told me, no, that's not the reason. But when we uh, asked for explanation, they told me that it, I didn't have a, a valid visa or a valid boarding entry, or that my passport was expi expired which is obviously not the case since my Canadian passport is expiring in 2026. And when we asked for more details, they just told us that they could not give us any more information and that the fact to get, the, to get in the United States was a privilege for any non-American citizen and that that privilege could be revoked at any time at the discre discretion of the, the agents on, uh, on duty. What I don't understand is they tried to tell you that your passport was not valid, but you have a passport that is valid until the year 2026. So how could they say that to you? Well, exactly. They, that's not what they told me. That's what the official paper they gave me says. Ah. Uh, but other than that, they, they gave me a phone number I could call, which I didn't try yet. But I, other than that, they just told me listen, we can't let you in, but we can give you more information. That's all you can get. So basically, I had to uh, arrange for a ride back home. So uh, why do you think you were denied entry into the US? Uh, it's actually a good question. I really don't know. And I don't want to pronounce myself too much on that. I don't want to give uh, uh, to attack someone or to, re or to give reasons about maybe the American customs have their reasons. Maybe they, it was to protect me. I, I don't have both sides of the story, so I can't pronounce myself. And I, I don't want to say that it's because of what I look like or what uh, I believe in. I, I really don't think like that, but mm -hmm. I, I really don't know. I don't have any more information about that. So at the end of the day, are you going to try and go back to the United States, or has this made you feel as though it's a place that you, that you may not want to try to go to because you don't want to have to go through that experience again. Well, for sure, uh, for my athletic career, I, I will uh, have to go to the United States. Like, we have a training camp scheduled in April in California. So obviously, I will, I will need to go to the United States once again. So we're looking into, uh, here at the university, we have uh, some uh, contacts at the direction or in uh, at the embassies so we're looking into what we can do so maybe i can have uh, some sort of visa or some sort of special authorization so i can still go and compete and train there but as for uh, as the agents told me they're not barring me they're not banning me from the united states they're just telling me that today or rather yesterday i cannot come in but maybe in uh, two weeks or one month i will so it really depends but we just we're just trying to have a some kind of insurance so I don't book and my, all my traveling expenses and all and finally I just can't go in. Do you think it could be uh, as a result of the political environment in the United States right now? Uh, to be honest I really don't know. I don't know politics that much so I don't know if it has a link or not and I don't want to give reasons for something that I don't know. Uh, for sure, it's a question uh, people are asking me a lot, but I just don't want to get into uh, an argument and tell something when I'm not sure, you know. Mm -hmm. That's very thoughtful of you and a, and, and a, and a smart uh, way to think about it. Yassine, appreciate you taking the time. Thank you very much. Yassine Aber is a Canadian student who was refused entry to the U.S. at the Quebec border, border speaking to us from Sherbrooke.